And I got off. I get in this elevator back at the hotel place. And first thing I did, I didn't post on Instagram. I didn't do none of that. I called Shotgun Shane. And I gave him advice. He took the advice. He's actually doing better now. I, I wasn't about to get off stage, but yeah, fuck y'all. I'm the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing Ryan Upchurch thought about was getting someone else to this point. Damn. Not only that, a fucking in, once upon a time enemy that we we didn't like each other. But <clears throat> when you love the, the culture of this stuff, you really do just want to help. And it's shit like that proves it. But, uh, I don't mean to uh, change. Hey, I'll tell you this real quick. Shane did. Shane did already admit that because I reached out to him and said, dog, that whole new album is like, you must have listened to church. He said, I did. And then somebody said that he put some of his, of what you told him in, I think an outro or an intro, I think it's the broke down apartments. So he took exactly what you said, bro. And focused on himself. And you're right. Shout out shotgun Shane. Cause and it takes a big man. Yeah, it does. It does. I wish you would get rid of the auto tune though. Let, let me say this. And you're definitely true to to what you say because you actually talked about that when we interviewed six months ago about.